Using WebDAV to map a network drive is convenient if you work with many files. However, sometimes it is easier to just use a web file manager because all you need is a browser to manage the files. Let us take a closer look at the web file manager. Positioned at the top of the web file manager is the main toolbar. Buttons starting from the left are Create new folder Upload one or more files Search for files on the server Open a new browser window Refresh the current browser window The clipboard mode, which is typically used when you directly open remote documents The file server button, which we have already covered The logout button the Help button, which includes the Web File Manager documentation. Below the main toolbar is a list of resources for the currently selected directory. Column 1 lists the resource name. Column 2 lists the file size or shows the directory icon if the resource is a directory. Column 3 shows the creation date of the resource. Column 4 lists various actions you can perform on the resources. The actions vary depending on the resource type. The only action for directories is to delete the directory. Navigate into a directory by clicking the name. Notice that the URL changes. If you know the path to the resource, you can directly type the resource name in the browser's address bar. The path is listed just below the main toolbar. Click any of the links to navigate to any of the directories in your current path. You can sort the columns by name, size, or date by clicking on the column. Let's create a new folder and show you how to upload files to the new folder. Upload files to the remote Barracuda Drive server by clicking the Upload button. You can upload multiple files at the same time by repeating the steps. Click the Upload button to upload the selected files. Depending on your browser settings, clicking on the file name may download the file or show the file in the browser. Photos are typically shown by the browser. If you prefer to download the photo, click the Download button. The Download button is designed to always download the file and not show the file in the browser window. You can delete files and directories by pressing the Delete button. To search for files, click the Search button. Click on the file in the Search list to navigate to the file. The Web File Manager is media-enabled and can stream MP3 files and show photos in the integrated photo viewer. When navigating to a directory with MP3 files, additional buttons are added to the Web File Manager that allow you to play the files in your current location. Pressing the Play button in the Action column plays the file inside the Web File Manager. Remove the MP3 player by clicking the Refresh button. The Play All button opens a separate window. The Web File Manager can also show photos in the built-in photo viewer. The Photo button is added to the Web File Manager when navigating to a folder with images. As soon as you click the Photo button, a separate window opens. The photos are loaded in the background and you can start navigating the photo slideshow as soon as the first image is loaded. You can also resize the photo viewer window. The images are automatically scaled. For example, if your photos are large, the viewer can be scaled up to take advantage of quality images. You should consider using a tool to reduce the image size of stock camera images since they are typically very large 
and make the photo slideshow viewer very slow.